Created in 1874, Louis XIII has the most fantastic history of all the prestigious spirits. 135 years of travel and encounters, of tradition and glamour in a single decanter. Let us immerse ourselves into the mysterious elaboration of cognac and into the fabulous world of Louis XIII. The aromatic intensity of cognac results from the combination of a rich terroir, area of agriculture, and of the know-how of talented men. The region of Cognac is located in the southwest of France, about 115 kilometers north from Bordeaux. Since 1909, this region is under an AOC, Appellation d'Origine Contrôlée, meaning that this is the only place in the world where Cognac can be produced. Since 1938, the region of Cognac is divided into six different growth areas called Cru. Each of these six crews gives its own aromatic characteristics. Grand Champagne is the most prestigious and the most sought after growth area. Thanks to a chalky soil that allows the roots of the vine to become deeply embedded in the heart of the earth, the grapes can reveal all of their richness and finesse. Louis XIII's Eau de Vie come only from this small, prestigious area. In 1874, Paul-Émile Rémy Martin decided to blend some of the Eau de Vie coming from the family old reserves of Grand Champagne. At this time, Paul-Émile registered it under the name of Très Vieille Grand Champagne, age unknown. The official name of Louis XIII is a tribute to the only king perceived as the Cognac Protector. He was the first to officially recognize it as a category of its own. Selling the first Louis XIII decanter in 1874 was a true act of genius, since at this time most cognacs were sold in barrels at a young age. Louis XIII grapes are carefully selected in Grand Champagne in the most prestigious villages. Most of them are from the Uni Blanc variety. Once the harvest is finished, around October, the wine growers press the precious grapes in order to obtain only the best part of it. An aromatic and delicate juice. Then comes the vinification process during which the grape juice becomes a white wine. In order to capture the opulence of the unique aromas, the lees are kept during the distillation. The elixir obtained after double distillation is the precious eau de vie of cognac. The cellar master selects only the very best eau de vie to compose Louis XIII. This is a merciless selection from the elite vineyards. The eau de vie promised to Louis XIII will be aged in century-old barrels called tiersons, very specific to Louis XIII. They will then be blended. This process of blending and aging is a true work of art, performed by our cellar master, Pierrette Trichet. Louis XIII is an exceptional blend of some 1,200 eau de vie, the youngest of which is 40 years old, the oldest over 100 years old. Four generations of cellar masters are needed to elaborate Louis XIII. Notes of delicate flowers and spices, such as jasmine and saffron, characterize the unique aromatic bouquet of Louis XIII. Fig sandalwood and nutmeg develop harmoniously, whereas exotic notes such as passion fruit, vanilla and ginger appear in a second time. With a warm mahogany color, Louis XIII 
is a fireworks of aromas. The decanter is a rare treasure on its own. Paul-Emile Rémy Martin acquired the original metal flask in the middle of the 19th century from a peasant who found it on a site of the Battle of Jarnac that took place in 1569. Today, each Louis XIII decanter is made of hand-blown crystal and numbered. Richly decorated with fleur de lis, the crystal carafe reveals and enhances the precious elixir that it contains. From its very beginning, Louis XIII has evolved in a fabulous environment. Crowned with success at the Universal Exposition in Paris in 1900, it was also served at the major European royal courts. Louis XIII accompanied some unique moments such as the journey of the Orient Express in 1929, the maiden voyage of the Normandy in 1935, or a flight on the Concorde in 1984. At the end of the 19th century, Louis XIII was already in Hong Kong, Shanghai, Tokyo, Rangoon, Buenos Aires, San Francisco, or New York. Iconic figures have chosen Louis XIII to commemorate many moments of history. Kings of East and West, politicians devoted to freedom, minorities proud of their identities, stars of the world of music and arts, and sporting champions have enjoyed this jewel to celebrate moments of eternity. Since its creation, and still today, Louis XIII is served in legendary places worldwide. Always in search of excellence, Louis XIII has over the years cultivated a tradition of breakthrough initiatives. From limited editions such as Louis XIII Diamant or Louis XIII Black Pearl to a partnership with famous French designer Christophe Pied, Louis XIII is an icon of ultimate luxury.